alopecia rate is not a choice. And as I talk about, there's seven different stages of alopecia. I'm going to uh, go ahead and introduce APA uh, hair product. Then we're going to talk about the dermis, the epidermis, the sebum glands, and the scalp itself. And what happens when your hair is going under attack. So first we have the APA smoothing shampoo. The shampoo is very light. It's not heavy at all. Then from there we have the ointment. The ointment is a healing clean uh, cream to take off the dryness, the scales that you have on your scalp, the itchiness, the sores, and to heal the scalp back nice. Then we have the APA Patches Be Gone. Once we heal the scalp, you'll start working with the APA to um, get the hair back on the scalp and to make the follicles get back strong. These products are very light. Anyone can use them, but they mainly for uh, clients who have severe scalp problems and balding. Uh, that will start with thyroids. You will lose your hair from being under the medication. Someone who is very stressed out, who's on their large amount of medication. Uh, someone with lupus would lose their hair as well and their uh, scalp would get scarring. And then of course you have CCC alopecia, alopecia rate, university, uh, male baldness alopecia, and so on and so on. Okay, I wanted to come back and explain and need for you guys to understand this. This is a serious problem. Kids at the age of four are catching this disease and the first thing your doctor tell you is that they have alopecia. Nine out of 10, most of it is not alopecia. Now alopecia is a scalp disease where your immune system is attacking your body. But when you're just losing hair rapidly or from wearing the wigs over years and years and gluing your scalp for years and years and wearing chemicals back to back, Nothing healthy can come from that. So that caused baldness, so we're just gonna call it alopecia. But now we have the kids. You guys are putting chemicals on your kids at a very young age. We all know that perms has acid in it. Why would you put acid on your child's head? Knowing that it's seeping down into her brain, eating at the follicles, messing with her nervous system or his nervous system, and at the long run, if he's only four, five, or eight, or 12, about time she or he gets 16, you won't have to worry about it because the crown will be completely dead. Now we're gonna get into why the scalp goes under attack. The scalp goes under attack for several reasons, and that is from being under a high rate of medication, from having thyroids, high blood pressures, lupus, cancer, alopecia, and just going into a hair salon, getting chemicals that's too strong, that's burning your scalp, and from a hairstylist or a braider uh, actually pulling on, you know, the roots of your hair too tightly or giving you a style where you see the veins that's just way too tight and so your scalp is screaming for help. Then you have the barbers that's not cleaning their tools. So when you get one person out the chair, goes to another person, and he's using the exact same tools. So now you done caught the, the nasty bumps in the back of your head. They done turned it to a bacteria. The bacteria done spread it more now. It's in your eyebrows. It's on your face beard. And now you just got a mess. So before I get into telling you about APA and why this start, I'm going to talk about the hairstylists and the barbers first. Let's talk about this. If you truly, truly care for your hair and you've been going to a hairstylist for a couple of years and she or he call you their friend and you sitting here and you got thin hairlines or they've been weaving you for over a year and you notice you got a bald patch and no one has spoke on this or they putting chemicals on your hair and you notice that you have patches on your head from the chemicals burning your scalp and he or she, which is your hairstylist, professional have not talked to you about it, I would run. I would delete their number, never go back to that shop and run. The reason is that your hairstylist spend more time on your head than you do. So they know exactly what's going on with your scalp. They can see the parasite, they can see the dandruff, 
They know when the fungus is appearing. They know when they burnt your hair. They know when they cut your hair. They know when they cut the weave out the wrong way or when they're pulling too tight. And then if they're using dirty combs and dirty brushes, be aware of that. Before you lay your head in that shampoo bowl, look at the shampoo uh, bowl. Make sure it's been sterilized. When you're going into a barber shop and he calls your name next, watch. Don't allow him just to brush the um, clippers off. He's supposed to be ster sterilizing those clippers, getting a new brush or washing that brush and getting a new comb and also getting a clean towel for you as well. Again, if you don't see this happening and you already have these problems, run. Run as fast as you can. Don't look back. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, with that being said, we're going to talk about hot spots. Hot spots. I printed this picture up because I want to kind of uh, explain a little bit better what happened when the scalp goes under attack. Man hair go under attack too. Kids' hair goes under attack as well, which is very sad because they suffer 10 times more than an adult. Okay? You people that's grown should know better putting all this stuff on your head that you know, seriously, your first thought says no good, but you want to look good, so good, that you're going to put your lace wig on. Now, I'm not fighting against lace wig, but everybody's scalp can't take this stuff. You're gluing your scalp down with all this chemical because inside the glue is nothing but a lot of chemicals that's all up in there. It's eating through your scalp. Once it eats through your scalp and goes through your dermis and under more and more layers, you are in trouble. It starts to push your hairline back. It peels your scalp. Now you have pus. Your wounds are open. And that's what calls, uh, as they call it, alopecia, which is just a sign of your hair been jacked up. I'm going to tell the truth about it. Okay? So, why even do this when you can just have healthy scalp? And for those who really do have alopecia and um, you can no longer grow hair, well, guess what? You can still keep your scalp healthy. You know, you don't have to go around putting these wigs on. And if you do put the wigs on, let's talk about it. Talk to somebody that really cares. Find a hairstylist that specializes in hair care. Not hair. There's a difference. You have hairstylists and you have hair care hairstylists. You want to find someone that cares about your scalp as if they would care about their own. Therefore, they can tell you what's going on as soon as they spot it. That goes for your barber and your braider as well. Hot pockets. When you're waking up or you already notice the sign of your scalp has been itching lately and you don't know what to do with it, we're going to talk about these hot pockets. The first sign of a hot pocket, your head starts to burn at the top. Majority of people heads start burning at the top. Once it starts burning, that's pretty much your follicles under fire. Okay, it has been attacked already for all the pulling, the synthetic braids, the synthetic weaves and wigs, and just the chemicals alone and with color. You gotta be careful with color too. I know I'm saying a lot is a no-no, but today and this time, you really gotta look out and take care of yourself because these people are not in your best interest. I promise you they're not in your best interest. They will keep selling you and selling you and selling you until you have nothing else. Because once that scalp get a hot pocket and it spread through your whole head, which I'm going to explain a hot pocket, you're not going to be able to put a wig on. So you might well go ahead and take care of your scalp while you have a chance. Okay, so when you're going under attack, your head starts to get sensational from the inside. You start to feel a burning sensation. And some people, before they go under attack, they can literally feel the follicles moving like something is crawling in their head. I hear people tell me this all the time. Once the burning starts, you're going to start losing hair. The hair is going to start getting thinner wherever it is, whether it's in the front, the top of your crown, or the nape. You're going to start getting thinner. Then after the hot pocket, it's called the hot pocket because up under your scalp, your head is on fire like a volcano. There's nothing you can do, I promise you. There's nothing you can do. Over time, we can help you, but you're still going to be burning. We're going to get it under control. So going to the doctor, getting shots and 
in your head, steroids, cortisone, all this stuff is doing nothing but putting you in pain, agony pain. So steroids is not going to do anything but swell up those cuticles. That's it. It's not going to grow the hair because you have other things going on up under there. So again, the pictures I'm going to show you, pay attention to them because this is what could happen to you if you do not start loving your scalp and doing what you need to do for your scalp. Stop believing the people in the beauty supply store and do your homework or this will happen to you if it's not already you. So again, once you catch the disease that you see above on the picture, it just doesn't stay in there. It started messing with you. It started messing with you emotionally. It started messing with your stress, with your personality, with your mood swings. It, it started eating even more through your body. So also that fungus is a bacteria, which is a disease. You're scratching so much. Now it's up under your nails. You doing this, it just spread it to your face, your eyebrows. You touch your arm, you have a whole different problem. This stuff is contagious, okay? Pay attention to the pictures. Look at these people. They have probably had no one to help them. The scalp got out of control. They kept putting this product, that product, everybody product on their head, and it just, it just took off. It ran right off their head, down into their scalp, burning like a volcano. Okay, so again, I say stop, and again, you guys should be ashamed because you, you're grown, and now you're passing this to your kids. You're putting wigs and synthetic hair on their head, which synthetic hair at one time used to be really good. The stuff is made out of wire, plastic, and God knows what else. It's really not healthy for the kids. I mean, I understand you have to do what you have to do, but you have to put more care and love into your child hair as well too. Because now they're wearing lace wigs and fake hair and catching alopecia faster than ever. And so by the time they get 13, they whole crown will be destroyed. And what they say, our crown is our golden rule. Our crown is what we wear, our glory. And when you continue to destroy your crown, you are destroying your nervous system and everything else that goes along with it. Also, when your scalp is under attack, you start to get, if you're not already getting these signs, you'll start to get headache, you'll get nervous uh, tensions in your neck, your spinal cord will start hurting, your back will start burning and sensational, and that is your head will start hurting here and your face will start hurting across here. That's because this stuff is internal. It is attacking inside your body. That's why I say be careful what you put in your body because whatever you put in your body is going to come out your body and it's going to show up and turn out. What you put on your scalp, if it's not good for you, oh, it's going to come and show out. And that's what I call a bad scalp disease. It, it comes and it get the party started. And it's going to show you. Look at the picture at the top. That party is popping out of control. So let's get it back under control, okay? My website is apaisnotachoice.com. That is for people who have severe scalp problems. Anyone can use this product, even if you're very sensitive to a, a lot of other products. This is a very light line. For natural, long, healthy hair and to keep bacteria away, you can go to queensnaturalhaircare.co queensnaturalhaircare.co there is a line of product that keeps the hair shiny you can slick the hair you can grow your bald spot back you can tame the hair you can kill off all the bacteria with our shampoo anything that lives it would kill it but for those that have sensitive scalp go to APA is not a choice then we want to heal your scalp once we get your scalp healed up then I will tell you the next step. And again, guys, lady, kids, if your scalp has already been scarred and you know you can never grow hair again, that don't mean that you're not beautiful. That don't mean that you cannot have confidence, high self-esteem. That just means that you keep taking care of your scalp because that's still your crown. And don't let anyone destroy your crown. I am so serious about this. 
I'm going to go into showing this real quick, this dermis, you know, it's a long story. I'm going to have to do about 10 of these videos to keep going and going to break everything down so you can have a better understanding. Um, this is going to be part one. This is part one of this video. Now, I will talk about part two. We'll go into talking about the dermis and what this is about. And I'll definitely go back into the Hot Pocket telling you so you can be aware of what Hot Pockets is and what's going on with your scalp. But I'm going to have to break this video up into two. Again, you guys, love your crown. You are your crown. Once you destroy your crown, there is nothing else left. God gave us this glory. He gave us this crown to wear, not to hide it. Have your self-esteem because you are you. Your wig is not you. Your hair extension is not you. All those things, your hair chemicals is not you. Be natural, be beautiful, and say you love yourself. Glorify your crown. That is all you have. Once you have destroyed your crown, there is no word or no return. I thank you for choosing Queen's Natural Hair Care. Until then, I'll see you again. Go ahead and push the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Leave me any comment. This is part one. I will be back with part two on the hot pocket in the hair dermis. Thank you so much and have a prosperity day.